Welcome to Couch Collectibles, where we talk about rare coins and rare collectibles that are worth money. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at valuable buffalo nickels and even a no-dated buffalo nickel that sold for some good money. Don't forget, if you guys do want to enter the monthly giveaway, all you guys got to do is click the link in the description, couchcollectibles.com. Once you're there, if you guys do purchase any product this month, you will automatically be entered for the monthly giveaway. So let's hop into it and check out these Buffalo Nickels that you should always be on the lookout for. All right, so first up here, guys, we got a 1918 Buffalo Nickel. Now, what makes this coin valuable is taking place on the date 1918 itself. Now, if we zoom in there, I put a 7 there over the 8 just to show you where the 7 is at underneath the 8. Now, there's the 1918 date. It is a Denver minted nickel. You can see the D mint mark there under five cents on the reverse of the coin. And then if we look there at that date without the seven on there, you can see that the seven is underneath the eight of 1918. So that will give the coin some value. If you come across any 1918s, definitely always be on the lookout for this because it can make your coin valuable. Now, this coin here sold for over $6,900. Now this doesn't have a mint stated grade either. It's graded at a very fine 25. So it's not the highest graded coin out there. If it was a higher grade, it would sell for more. If it's a lower grade, it's probably gonna sell for less. Next up's a simple error I tell you guys to always look out for on any denomination of coin. This is the off center error. Now you can see that there in the images displayed, it struck 20% off center. Clearly it is a 1918. You can still see the date there on the front. Now, this coin here still sold for over $1,300. Now, moving right along to this undated Buffalo Nickel. Now, this is an awesome coin. All right, so it does have a mint error. It's been double struck and it's been rotated in collar. So if we look to the right of the coin where it says Liberty, you can kind of see that the Liberty is cut off and that is because it's been double struck and the design rotated. Now it's kind of hard to tell on the rest of the design of the coin if you're not really looking or not too familiar with Buffalo Nickels, but you can see that there's no date there at the bottom of the coin. And then here on the back, you can definitely see how it's double struck. We look at the top of the Buffalo, you can see lettering there on the Buffalo's head. You look there towards the right side of the coin, you can see lettering five cents because the design has been rotated. And then there at the bottom, you can see how that double strike is taking place as well. Now this does not have no date. And if you guys got any dateless nickels, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can find your date on your coins that are dateless. All right, so this coin here sold for over $750. Now this stuff here is what's called Nicodate. It is for restoring the date on your nickels, your Buffalo nickels and even your V nickels. All right, so this is interesting stuff. I was gonna show you how to actually do it, but here's an example of a 1923. You can see down there on the date, once you apply that Nicodate and then you take the Nicodate off of it, you can see that it reveals the date there and makes a really white looking patch there, you know, white all around that coin because of the chemicals that are in the Nicodate. Now you have to be very, very careful with this Nicodate stuff. It is, uh, you gotta be very, very cautious with it, guys. You wanna wear gloves, you wanna be safe, and I was gonna do a whole video on it. However, if you guys go over to Quinn's Coins, I'm gonna put his video at the end of this video. That way you guys can click on it. He has got a video showing you guys how to use it. And I just thought it would be pointless for me to, you know, make a video on it when he's done such a great job already explaining it and how to be safe when doing it. So be sure to go check that video out. I'll put it at the end of this video. You can watch it here in just five seconds. All right, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe in the middle, click the videos to the sides of me, and until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comments section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.